Right, so today I thought I'd have a chat about Wi-Fi in your caravan or your motorhome. Now, this can be a bit of a divisive topic, if I'm honest, um, because let's face it, sometimes we go away to escape from all of that. And, um, you know, we went to St Agnes Beacon years ago. We didn't have uh, any Wi-Fi or reception on the phones. And we ended up taking the kids on this clifftop walk down to find something to eat at a cafe. Now, consequently, this has turned out to be one of their most favourite sites because of that. So... To add Wi-Fi that would sort of take away from that um, is not for everyone. But having said that, with um, COVID making the home office ever more popular and, you know, when um, when the sites had reopened and um, Charlie could do his, his homeschooling, we actually went away in the caravan. Charlie did his homeschooling. Uh, I did some work and then we spent the rest of the day down on the beach. So from that point of view... Um, there's an awful lot to be said for Wi-Fi. And let's face it, um, if your TV watching habits are anything like ours and you're taking a TV away with you, it's very rare that we watch terrestrial TV these days. Everything is streamed through, I don't know, you know, Amazon, Now TV, Netflix, that sort of thing. So, you know, that smart element of the TV is sort of coming in ever more, um, especially if it's a rainy day. So with that in mind, uh, let's talk about Wi-Fi because we've had an Avtex Wi-Fi unit fitted to our Bailey Phoenix. Now, I'm just going to run through all of the blurb that I've uh, printed off of the website. Um, just so it gives you, well, basically just so I don't miss anything that, that you may need to know. So, right, built-in Wi-Fi. Um, it's different from hotspotting your phone, which to be fair is what we always used to do. Um, and, and I was also a bit sceptical about this unit. I mean, what is the difference going to be between hotspot and your phone and a Wi-Fi unit? How can it possibly be different? And also, does it justify the £349.99 price tag of having a unit fitted? Um, now, we've used it twice. I shall be testing this uh, every time we go away, but we've been on two sites so far. Whenever I've tried to hotspot somewhere on my phone, we always get it. You know, if you're outside that peak time, you know, it's fine. It's not a problem. But you get that point in the evening where site Wi-Fi, to be fair, is never strong enough to um, stream or it hasn't been for us anyway. And, um, you know, you hotspot your phone and, and obviously everyone else wants to do the same thing as well. So you get to the evening point, the signal drops off and you just haven't got that, um, what is it, bandwidth, signal, whatever it is, to sort of stream, you know, a TV show or, or, or likewise. So we thought we'd try this. Now, the first time we went out, we went to Exmoor House, uh, to Dolverton. Now, Dolverton isn't, if you've ever been there, it's certainly not a big place. It's not, it's not a city centre location with sort of, you know, 4G um, streaming out of every corner of it. You know, this is a tiny little town in uh, North Somerset. Um, so we went there, turned it on, had 45 meg from the, uh, from the roof mounted unit. And... We streamed stuff, you know, the evenings were a bit rainy, so we stayed in the caravan, uh, watched telly, streamed it all night long, never had an issue. And to be fair, we've, ne we've never had it work like that either. Um, so we then went to another site and had exactly the same thing. I think we had about 35 meg this time. But again, it was a reliable signal, reliable enough that we could carry on watching telly, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, initial tests at home, uh, to be fair, you can't really base it on going at home because you haven't got a campsite full of other people trying to use the same signal. So, you know, I test it at home. I've probably got, I don't know, I mean, I mean you know, I'm in fairly remote Dorset. I've still got around about 40 meg here and it's reliable because well, it's only us, really. Um, and back to that site as well. It wasn't as if it was an empty site. Out of that entire site, there were only two pictures left for us, us to choose from. So, you know, it was a busy night. So, uh, back to this unit. As I said, it's um, it's an Avtex unit. And the reason we have that is because we've had Avtex tellies. And we've had, got an Avtex sat-nav. And they've always worked. You know, you, you sort of get them out of the box, you turn them on. Uh, and they've, you know, we've had 19-inch Avtex telly four years. Been using the kitchen or chucked in the caravan. Never had a problem with it. Avtex sat-navs, used them in, I don't know, 30 countries all around the UK. Always worked well. So when Avtex made a Wi-Fi unit, you think, do you know what? Let's get one of those because everything else has always worked really well. Now from Prima Leisure, 
This unit, as I said, is £349.99. If you're a Caravan Club member, if you go onto their website shop, £332.49. Um, so, you know, a bit of a saving. Or you can obviously get it from your local retailer and have it fitted, but we'll talk about fitting in a minute. Now that includes, I'm reading this by the way, that includes a free SIM card and exclusive optional data package. Um, and it says here, Avtex offers an exclusive and truly flexible O2 data package. So it's worth checking out the O2 um, reception of where you want to go, just to make sure. Now it's designed for touring. The data package gives you the control to easily switch between UK and EU tariffs. Or when you're not traveling, um, you can pay a parking fee that keeps your SIM live. Now this for us is great because you know I, I'm not I'm not known for spending money or I don't have to. Uh, and it also says, however, the unit is unlocked, so you can use it with a SIM from any network. Um, now read it down here. It's, it's got two slots, both of which are unlocked, so you can put. If you want to use the O2 one that comes with it, fine. If you've got another one that you want to use with it, um, or if the O2 won't work, or you've got one that, that has a better signal, you can put that in as well at the same time. I haven't tried that yet because the O2's worked, but it's a handy backup. Now, the thing that is worth mentioning, this unit is 5G ready. Not, not a lot of them are, but this one is. So when 5G comes in, I... You know, when's the rollout coming? I'm a Dorset, we've only just had 4G. Um, but when 5G hits, you know, you're ready for that 5G network. So what if you're looking at other Wi-Fi units, just compare that to, to the Avtex one. Now we mentioned the cost of the unit. You, there's also a cost for the data package as well. So unlimited UK data, so you know, unlimited, don't forget that bit, £24.99 a month. Also, they've negotiated a deal. So if you're traveling uh, into Europe, you have um, 50 gig of data to play with a month. So, you know, that's, that's a fair amount for when you're traveling. Now, that's £34.99 a month. And also, there's a parking fee. Um, so if you're not using it, you can park it for £3.49 a month. So you, I believe you can toggle, well, to be fair, I haven't yet because we've been away, but... You can toggle between the unlimited UK data, the 50 gig of European data, or you can park it for £3.49. You can toggle between all three. Now, I believe, hang on, I did look at the small print as well, which I think is on the other bit of page. Um, yeah, so the small print, it says, for ultimate control and flexibility, tariffs are on a simple 30-day rolling subscription and easily switched. So I'm guessing, you know, you switch it, that, that would probably roll into that 30 day period, something worth uh, worth watching out for. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on that. Right, um, Avtex, you know, they're known for their customer support, not that their stuff, in my opinion, has gone wrong. But it says here, dedicated phone line and remote access support seven days a week, uh, which is worth knowing. Also, I had a look at the small print and in brackets, it says, Avtex offers free one year dedicated phone and remote access support. So, you know, whether you can phone them up after that one year period, I don't know. I haven't had to yet. It's just worked out of the box. So, again, that might be worth um, having a look at. Now, there's a few of the plus points here. It says reliable 3G, 4G, 5G networks. Yes, you can use on 3G, 4G, 5G, whatever you have on site. Um, it'll automatically switch between the two. You haven't got to worry. Uh, and as I said, it's 5G ready. Uh, secure with multiple VPN services, embedded firewall, various encryption protocols. So, you know, if I was worried about people uh, snooping on my uh, caravan tweets, you know, I'm safe in the knowledge that they won't be able to. It says it's advanced, supports up to 100 devices with the latest in mobile internet technology. Yeah, I haven't got 100 devices, but if you do, you know, fill your boots. Uh, high gain 5G ready antenna. Yes, we've discussed that. Dual SIM slot unlo unlocked for any network. Yes, we've discussed that. Flexible 12 volt or 24 volt power supply. Well, we'll come on to power supply in a minute because when this was fitted, it was hardwired in. A high speed 4G LTE Cat4 route with speeds up to 150 megabytes per, uh, megabits per second. I have no idea what an LTE router is, but what, you know, whatever it is, it's got it. 
uh, four Ethernet ports to enable uh, connection to TVs and laptops. You know those cables that um, chances are you don't really use and they get put into a drawer. If you want to plug it straight in and you you know uh, and then go straight into the router with a wire, you can. Uh, works in motion when traveling or stationary. I haven't tried that. I'm going to give that a go, I think. Now, this unit automatically comes on when we turn the power on in the caravan. So whether I can do with that when I'm traveling, I don't know, but I'm certainly going to give it a go. Uh, 19 centimeter antenna diameter uh, and a one meter cable. It says simple fixing with just a single drill hole and locking bolt. Yeah, true enough. We'll come to that in a minute. <clears throat> Um, it says the compact router is fitted inside. Yes, that would make sense. Um, please be aware that the unit must be fitted by a manufacturer approved retailer or service centre to maintain the warranty on your caravan or motorhome body shell. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, incredibly valid point that if you're going to go drill in a hole that looked to be about, I don't know, an inch, 25 mil through the roof of your caravan, unsurprisingly, if you have the remainder of your body shell warranty left, that is going to affect it. Um, now, there's some other bits here. I might be um, going over the same thing, but it says free SIM card included in the box. Yes, there is a free SIM card. You do have to pay a monthly install, uh, monthly payment if you use it. The monthly payments we mentioned earlier, that will also write in the description below. Unlimited UK data. Yes, for that monthly cost. Uh, no contract which is handy to know. Just monthly payments that you can cancel any time. Um, three flexible tariffs, switch easily to, to the tariff that suits you best. These are the tariffs we've already mentioned. UK data, going abroad, or the parking fee. Um, now I've written my own notes here, turning on, yes. So the guys hardwired it in, we'll go into that in a minute. So all I have to do is come in, and you know that main power switch in your caravan, I turn that on, the Wi-Fi automatically turns on with that and I haven't really got to worry. And then as soon as that's done, my phone automatically connects. Um, QR code. Um, <clears throat> you know what it's like in, in you try and connect onto Wi-Fi. So you have to search. Then you have to have the, the password that has, has just such a jumble of letters and that you're always putting wrong if you're me and it takes a while to connect. Well, I only discovered this when connecting Charlie's phone. There's a QR code on the front of the box. All you do is um, open up your camera on your phone, it will scan that, and then it will say, would you like to connect? You press connect, it does all of it. All you do is scan a QR code. So great, yeah, that was really easy for connecting phones. Uh, use from house. Yeah, um, we had a problem with the Wi-Fi at home. Um, it was only down for a day, but all I did was turn on the caravan power, it powered it up, and we could, um, we could, um, reach it from the house. So we could then watch telly in the house or use whatever um, from the caravan Wi-Fi. And because it's unlimited data, we didn't have to worry about, you know, well, I don't know, will a bigger telly use more data? Well, I don't know, it's unlimited data. So we didn't have to worry. Right, so let's just take you um, through what's going on in this cupboard. Um, this here is obviously the main box, the router box, and these are the aerials for the Wi-Fi. Now here, you can see um, this is where it comes through. So you'll have um, a hole that's about 25 mil or an inch that comes through the roof. Now, this was a pre-production model and um, I went along with this model to see with the bits in the box, whether the guys there, uh, I went to a dealership who were used to fitting other uh, brands of Wi-Fi's just to see how this would fit, how it would compare to other units. So. As far as the cost is, is concerned, uh, full disclosure, I didn't pay for the fitting because I was there to see how this would compare with another brand and, and you know, any fitting problems that this may have compared to the other one. Um, now, it was picked up, <coughs> excuse me, that, um, I see the, the, the bolt, there's, there's sort of a, a, um, a hollow bolt that comes through as I said it's about an inch wide this wasn't long enough really because the Baileys have an Alutech roof I don't know if you've ever seen those pictures of the Mondeo uh, sat on top of the roof and Alutech come out so you know Baileys have a strong roof but it's also quite thick thicker than some so what they've done now there's actually a longer bolt that comes through 
I mean, I suggested, you know, maybe 25 mil longer would, would be great because this is probably catching on just enough thread, but it doesn't protrude through anymore. So that will look slightly different on the new units, but this then screws um, onto that nut to keep it secure. Now on the, on the unit on the roof, um, I think they called it the biscuit. I suppose it does look like a big biscuit. There's a big 3M sticky pad. So all they did, they peeled off that sticky pad and uh, the guy that fitted it sort of in a belt and braces approach, put a bead of sealer, um, just one bead, not all over it, but just another bead between the outer ring and the inner ring um, before he bonded it. And then you get two wires that come through here and these just screw into the top. Yeah, both into the top of the router box. Now this is the power cable. Now all the guy did, very simple thing. It comes with um, a cigarette lighter socket, you know what I mean? That you plug into the car. So he chopped that end off, took the wires out and then just hardwired them. Now let me come out of that cupboard. And through here, through there. And he took the power supply from behind here for the um, um, for the TV booster and just, just hardwired it into that. So as soon as you turn on the, the power in your caravan, I mean, I'm not on hookup at the moment, so this is just on a ledger battery. And the, you'll get the lights um, just under here. You can't see them on here because it's so small. So that should be ready to go. Right, so that covers how the unit is actually fitted, but uh, I suppose fitting is probably the biggest topic of all. Um, now, if you're fairly handy with DIY, th there's probably nothing stopping you from being able to fit that, apart from that water ingress warranty. Now, because it, it doesn't look too difficult to fit, I can't imagine that the fitting fees would be astronomical. Um, I mean, the sensible money will be to go to your local retailer and... Um, you know, they could probably supply the unit as well and, you know, have an installation cost in there, which would probably in the long run save you some money. Because the last thing you want to do is have an issue because it's on the roof. You know, that is the part that gets all the rain. You don't want an issue there with water coming in. Um, so, you know, visit your local retailer, see how much they're going to charge and go from there. You know, if you've got an older um, van, motorhome, van conversion, whatever, you know, there's nothing stopping you from fitting it. It didn't look particularly stressful or difficult to do. Um, you know, you, you drill a hole down through, which looked to be, I don't know, 25 mil an inch, um, two wires running through, the unit screws on the wall, the wires that come from the, the, the biscuit, screw into that, and then you route a power supply to it. Um, it's just that water ingress and making sure that it's correct. Um, now, as I say, this is an initial uh, test. We've been to two sites. We've tried it at home. All good so far. But we will continue to test this um, throughout the year just to see how we get on. And I'll keep you posted. Um, we've probably got the ultimate test for it next week. We're going to um, off-grid site, Isle of Wight. Signal's not great there anyway. I'm on EE for my phone. Uh, that hardly ever works there anyway. So we'll just see, A, whether this picks up anything. You know, does this pick up a better signal than, than a phone? Um in a hotspot or otherwise um, and if it does pick up anything we'll just see how it works but uh, anyway thank you for watching if you've got any questions feel free to put them in the comments section below and i'll see you for the next video